Hey, what's up? JJ here again, and in this video we'll take a look at the East River Drive by Electro Harmonics. This video is part of a series of three, the other two being the Hot Tubes and the OD Glove. <laughs> For the year 2013, Electro Harmonics, the company that gave us the Big Mouth Fuzz and the LPB1 Linear Power Booster, have expanded their range of overdrive and distortion pedals with three pedals the OD Glove, the Hot Tubes Reissue, and this pedal, the East River Drive. Now, this is a classic green style overdrive box. I'm not going to say the name, but you know what I mean. It's even got a green LED, which I think is a very cool uh, feature. Uh, it's based around the JRC4558 chip, which, according to many players, is, a, is a, a very nice sounding chip for a classic green overdrive. In this next example, I'll let you hear how the East River Drive sounds with the drive control turned up full. And listen closely to how you can still hear every note in the chord. Here's my clean sound. And here's with the East River Drive engaged. And just as you'd expect from a classic overdrive pedal, the East River Drive sounds terrific, played with a guitar with humbuckers into an already overdriven amp. Here's the amp by itself. And here's with the East River Drive engaged. Now I'd like to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these three overdrive pedals. Why? Because they have a different sound altogether and you can only really tell the differences uh, when you hear them side-by-side -side playing with the same uh, guitar and playing the same part over and over again. So um, first up is the East River Drive, then the Hot Tubes, then the OD Glove. And as you can see I've turned the drive overdrive gain controls. So the amount of uh, distortion I've turned that up to about uh, 1, 2 o'clock and uh, most of the other controls are set to 12 o'clock on all three pedals. I'm playing on a Telecaster into a clean amplifier and here's my clean sound. Mm -hmm. 
Well, as you can immediately hear, uh, I've put the pedals from right to uh, left in increasing uh, amount of gain. And you could immediately tell that the East River Drive doesn't have as much volume as the other two pedals, so I'm going to put the volume on the East River at about 3 o'clock. And then you could also hear that the hot tubes really colored the sound a lot. It warmed up the sound, and that's probably uh, the whole idea of the hot tubes, to make it sound like a, a valve amp that's really cooking. And the OD Glove definitely has um, the uh, biggest amount of gain at this moment. So let's hear it again with a slightly different part. amount of bass. Check out the gain range. Let's turn the drive on the East River up full, overdrive on the hot tubes up full, and gain on the OD glove up full, and let's increase the volume on the East River drive, because it's not really fair if it sounds uh, less loud than the other pedals. You might get the impression that um, the East River drive is um, a pedal that sounds less good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I, the East River drive sounds terrific. So check it out. Every guitarist needs a classic overdrive pedal, and I especially like the price point of the East River Drive. It's very affordable, and it sounds really nice. I like the aesthetics too, I like the name, East River Drive, which is a location in New York very close to the Electro Harmonics factory. I like that it has the New York skyline on there, and the green LED, the green reference is obvious, but then I'm also a big New York fan. So if you're looking for, um, I almost said the word, but I'm not going to say it, if you're looking for a green classic overdrive pedal, look no further than the Electro Harmonics East River Drive.